Now, one question a number of students have asked, we've referred a lot to caustics. Um, what actually is a caustic? So we're going to, in this sh short video, explain the definition of this term caustic for microlensing. Now, if you remember, when you're looking at some background object which has a planet near it, the brightness will go up and have these sudden sharp spikes which are due to a planet's orbiting the star. And that's enormously powerful. It tells us a lot about how big the planet is, that it's there, how it's orbiting. But why do you get these sudden sharp spikes? So we've talked a bit about what a caustic is with hand-waving type explanations. If you have light going through a glass, you get these sort of patterns here. Yep, and so those, those little uh, patterns are the caustic, and essentially where the light shining here uh, gets added up into specific spots. Yeah. So generally, whenever you shine light through any sort of distorting lens, instead of getting a, a fuzzy image, you get li images with rather sharp lines, yep. like this one and this one and this one, and these sharp lines are the caustics. You get the same thing, say, at the bottom of the sea. Uh, here what you've got is the light coming through the surface of the water, which has ripples, it's a distorting lens. And once again, you tend to see rather sharp, constantly moving lines, yep. which are also the caustics. For gravitational lensing, remember, we, what we did was I imagine being in the background, shooting out a whole bunch of rays, and the rays get bent in different ways by, in this case, I put a star and a planet in the foreground. Yep. And then you look at where they land on a plane through the Earth. And once again, it's much like sunlight coming through a disturbed water surface and landing on the bottom of the sea. And so once again, you get these rather sharp patterns. And the reason why we see these peaks in brightness is because in this plane, the Earth is, say, moving along like that. And when you hit one of these lines, you get a sudden peak in brightness. Yep. But what actually is a caustic? How's the definition of it? I mean, we said it's a, a line. So what do you do if you don't know what a word is? Oh, I don't know. Wikipedia. I usually look it up, yeah. So here's what Wikipedia said. The definition of a caustic is envelope of light rays reflected or refracted by a curved surface or object. Um, what does that mean? Okay, so uh, I think we know what everything, but the envelope, that sounds like an interesting term. What does envelope mean? In well, of course, case? I then clicked on the link to find out what envelope meant as far yeah. as this is concerned. And here's how it's defined in the mathematical term. Envelope of a family of curves is a curve that is tangent to each of them. Okay. So what we need is a family of curves. Here's the example they gave on Wikipedia. Um, so here's a family of curves. So each curve starts here and you move down and around. And when you do them all, you get an envelope, which is tangent to all of these things. Right. So this almost looks like the uh, string art that I used to do when I was a kid, where I take a bunch of nails and then take string and go between them, and you end up with a pattern, which is the envelope of all those lines. Okay, so what we seem to need is a family of curves. What's the family of curves in microlensing? Now, if you remember, when we did the simulations, what I'm doing is I'm just firing a vast number of background rays. But instead of firing all the rays out at once, we could divide them up into lines. So what I could do is I could meet the background and say fire a bunch of rays in this direction, then a bunch of rays in that direction. So I have a line, and each line sets out as a perfect line, something like this here. Right. But then by the time it's distorted, for example, let's say I have all these lines along here, the ones in the middle are going to be bent this way a bit, whereas the ones at the outside are a bit less. So you're going to end up with a curved line here. And if I fire a line over here, once again, it might be curved the other way. And if I fire it in the middle, it might be rather more complicated. That's right. So that's going to be our family of curves. What I'm going to do is fire a bunch of rays along here and see where they end up in the plane of the Earth distorted. Okay. And we're going to add them all up. So I've got a little simulation here where I start off on this side and go through firing vertical line, vertical line at different angles, and then seeing where they end up. And what you'll see is the envelope of these. Okay, so it's going to start off from this side. We'll see the black line. Here we go. Okay, so it's distorted to begin with. So it's bulging in because of gravity there. And now it's actually doing loops around it. Right. Ooh. Wow. Now we're going to pop out on the other side. Hmm. So what you saw was that the family of curves did have an envelope. There were a whole bunch of curves that added up along this line, along this line, along that line for particular times. And so that's, that's what the caustic is. It's just you have this whole family of curves as you send planes of light outwards, and they do indeed give you caustic patterns. It essentially means that you know, that's where 
the light of the object you're looking at adds up, where it's instead of shining out to the entire part of the universe, it all gets directed towards you when uh, it passes through that little part of space.